Hi, welcome. If you're watching this video, then you are looking for a tutorial on how to design a landing page, an opt-in landing page in Kajabi. My goal is to create this for you in 15 minutes because when you know how, it's actually surprisingly straightforward. Here we go. Your Kajabi account is going to look very similar to this. I'm currently on the website pages tab. So the first thing I'm going to do is click new page. Whichever option you choose, you can recreate it to look however you wish, but to save time, what I'm going to go for is the streamlined opt-in. Get started. Entering. I'm going to create this one around an opt-in I've just created for my audience. You just need to put in the appropriate admin reference for you, because that will come in really handy later when you're tracking down the different pages. Bear with us, it's just applying the secret source. Awesome. Now it's loaded, the first thing I'm seeing that we're going to change straight off the bat is this header. With an opt-in page you want them to take one action and one action only, so by removing the header it means you're removing the option for them to click store and my library and get distracted. So let's click the bar at the top, desktop layout, hide header, mobile layout, hide header, on the same theme I'm going to go down to the footer and I'm not going to remove the footer completely because it's nice to have the copyright there but I am going to remove the link list that they've put in there again so they don't click store, get distracted. While I'm here I'm going to change the copyright and with this logo and the name of this what you would do is upload your logo here. I don't have mine to hand, but if we have time, I will do some refining. Right, so first of all, or next, I'm gonna remove a few sections from this page to streamline it even more. Delete this section. If your free resource is solving a problem and it's really well aligned, my I'm of the opinion of short and sweet, get to the point, enhance key reasons why this is a positive action for them to take but it does depend on the um, commitment that you're asking of them you may want to include some more information so for the moment this is what I'm going to go for I am going to make this 10 I'm also going to add an image by add content add an image here we go move this down to five or six so it sits beside the form I'm also going to switch these around there we go so I pre-created an image to reflect the free resource that I've created so select image upload 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 new file choose file here we go how to find your niche and save while that uploads Awesome. Right. Awesome. Okay, next, personal preference. I'm going to change to remove this background image because I've got an image over the top. I don't want it too busy. So I'm going to go for white. Let's see how that looks. Fab. This top one, I'm going to expand it to 12. I've pre created some text to save time. So here we go. What you want to do with this heading is place it around frustration of your audience, the frustration of the pain point that you're solving. Let's take this and refine it. These were all ideas I pulled together. And actually, let's place you over here. Brilliant. This feature block at the bottom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to emphasize three reasons why they this resource is the right choice for them or place it around key features that are found in the resource. Mm -hmm. 
Now, all of these words can be optimized. So for me, this is just an exercise to show you how I will go in afterwards and give real thought into how best to use the words to affect, to encourage my ideal audience, my ideal audience member to take that positive step with me. We're gonna go for a form. So if I click save for the moment, we're gonna pause the creation there. If I go back, I'm gonna keep this tab open. So I opened it in a new tab so that I can work alongside. And I go back to landing pages. Here we go. Now I'm gonna create the form. That's the form we wanna link in. So if I go to marketing, forms, new form, Mine is going to be niche resource opt-in, save, let's put an E on that. Okay, so here we've got the option for double opt-in. This is the gold standard to, to meet the needs of GDPR. So I'm going to leave it enabled and what it means is that when someone enters their name and their email address in that form, they will receive a confirmation email straight to their inbox possibly junk folder that says, hi, are you sure you are happy to hear from us? It's a double confirmation that then they can go on your email list and you have complete permission to communicate with them. So I'm gonna leave that ticked. It is also with the form that we deliver the resource, assuming yours is a PDF and audio file, something that we can actually upload and attach to the email. We do that here. So if we say add automation, when form is submitted, then send an email. Here we go. Once again, I pre-created a bit of copy. You're very welcome to borrow this text, rework it to your needs. So for now, I need to attach the resource. So I've highlighted the link and I'm gonna click upload file, the little paper clip. I search in here niche. Do do do. There we go. Okay. And for, it seems to have been a bit naughty and pasted it below. That's worth noting. If you're too keen, like I just was, and you click somewhere different before it's uploaded in, it will it will paste wherever your cursor is. So I'm going to copy the link I just put in, and I'm going to paste it over this one. There we go and save. Next, we wanna be able to send them to a thank you page. So if I click save here, and I am also gonna open in a new tab, then I've got all the different assets open at once. Okay, we're going for the, the thank you page now. So new page, again, why not? I'm gonna go for opt-in because it's a streamlined short page and I want to delete a lot of sections anyway if not all of them awesome here we go so I'm gonna do the same for the header desktop layout hide header mobile layout hide header I'm gonna delete these sections by clicking, scrolling down and clicking delete, clicking, scrolling down and clicking delete. Again, go and go and go till we're gone. Awesome. Delete this section. And now I'm gonna add section, custom section. And it, here I'm gonna choose a text box. I'm going to make it nice and wide and then paste in some wording I grabbed earlier. There we go. Save. Remove these links at the bottom. Delete the link list. Change this. Digital bumpkin. Save. Choose the logo, upload image. There we go. I'm going to make the logo image width a bit wider. 
add in the image alt attribute it can't hurt and it counts towards SEO so that's just a little quick win here we go and the reason I've removed the header and the footer is because hit the thank you page is an amazing opportunity because a hundred percent of people who opt in obviously will see the thank you page they'll arrive here so it's really amazing space to place a call to action it could be join the community it could be oh here's a really amazing offer that's irresistible because it's going to get you to that solution faster i'm not going to explore that in this video but just so you're aware thank you pages are so powerful section let's make this full height There we go. Let's save this. Now I'm going to return to the opt-in page because I haven't linked in the form or the thank you page yet. Right, here we go. Click to select the form to display in this box. Search here and we'll put in niche, niche resource opt-in. And also you have the option of adding the thank you page in here on the form, custom contact page. And if I placed it, pasted it, pasted it, pasted it here or linked it in here, that's perfectly acceptable if I did. And then in this opt-in page, I linked in a different thank you page, this page will override it. So on this occasion, I'm just gonna go ahead and link it here. Go to landing page, niche, thank you. I'm gonna choose my branding color, which via hex code, which hopefully you've got. If then I click on submit and I choose button background color and I'm gonna go for a black text I have also I think recreated a little bit of disclaimer text here that I'm gonna replace Kajabi have inserted some we won't spam you and subscribe it anytime short and sweet it works I'm just gonna put in similar text Uh, but here we've got the icons, so I'm going to hide the icons for the moment. Or I might see if I can lay my hands on. So it must be approaching the 15 minute marks now. If I search Favicon. Here we go. Digital bumpkin icon. I'm gonna add my logo into the footer. And actually these little fine tuning bits do count because I think if you leave the branding as Kajabi, if you don't if you don't create these pages with attention to detail, it can it can dent the relationship with the audience member because they might think, oh, that's just a little rough around the edges. Particularly with me providing a Kajabi service, you want to put your best foot forward in these conversations. So I noticed that these are a slightly different height. So I'm also going to click in the background section, desktop layout and equal height blocks. And I'm also going to just put a slight different color here. I know this hex code is one I tend to lean to. There we go. If I click here is one, the background I might think about bringing that height up slightly and this is fine tuning, it's personal preference. I'm going to make my logo at the bottom slightly bigger, could we go for 150? Let's centralise this, format, align centre, I might put a new line here, there we go. I might see if we actually create, add this as a heading one, might be too big. No, might be all right. So we've got creating lots of training, but no one is engaging. How to finally get traction in your online business when you put such a lot of energy into creating content, but it seems to go unnoticed. 
Here we go. You'll want to read through the wording you put just to make sure it flows and it reads right and it's optimized. This isn't optimized, but hopefully it gives you an insight into how you can use the words to connect with a pain point. Because I know that with Kajabi, it's challenging and frustrating at times because you'll create content in your business and you'll post it out. It'll be very exciting. But if it's just the sound of crickets and no one is engaging, that is a real dent to the confidence. It's hard to keep momentum and keep morale up. So I put myself in someone's shoes or in a client's shoes or an audience member's shoes and I think, how would I feel? It would be frustrating, it would be lonely, you know, these things. So you wanna, you wanna let them know that you understand. You wanna let them know that you, you understand their frustration, but you also, have a solution you understand where their energy needs to be placed what that solution looks like it's a way of gaining trust okay so for the sake of progress we've got our opt-in page we've optimized the wording i'll do mine later name email disclaimer text we're re-diverting to the thank you page we've got the form hooked in so now if we preview let's have a quick glance over the pages I can see, there we go. So it's a very, very streamlined landing page of hooking it together in Kajabi. This is it. You don't need to overcomplicate it. Words are incredibly powerful. Your words will depend on your resource, your solution, your audience member. And if you are unclear about your audience member, then have a think about this as a resource. You just need to visit, or oh, actually we'll put it in the comments below, in the description below. But it's about really getting clear on who you're talking to, who you wanna build a relationship with, where you're positioning your resource, and, and ultimately where you're placing your energy. So I'm really hoping this helps you make some progress. If you've got any questions, comments, anything I can help with, just paste in the comments below.